Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Edgewater, Saskatchewan. And uh, if in case you missed it, we did do a live stream for our previous episode. And in that live stream, we leased this lime spreader and got lime spread on both of our fields. Had a nice lively discussion with uh, both members of the community as well as South Sask Modding and BC Bueller both showed up for the live stream which was uh, pretty awesome and got a lot of questions answered about the map. We also learned a little bit about farming in Saskatchewan, which was a lot of fun. Uh, the biggest uh, take from that was that they don't really spread a lot of lime up there. Uh, typically, you'd see more, I don't know if it's called potash or potash. Um, we, I think we always called it potash, but that would be a more typical fertilizer. Unfortunately, we are limited by the... Uh, constraints of farming simulator here and the precision farming mod so we're gonna do what we're doing and we're gonna go and start doing a little bit of tillage over here in our fields today and that's another thing i don't know how much tillage we'd really do up in this area we'd probably just drill back into it however i'm gonna do this for a couple of reasons one i want to try out this new mod this is also a mod by bc bueller that is going to count as a mulcher as well as a disc arrow here. And we're gonna just break up our ground, make sure that everything's ready to go. And it's gonna give us that mulching uh, bonus on the field, I believe. And we're gonna do this in the fall to make sure that our ground is all ready in the spring here. Gonna mix that lime into the soil. So to start out, we're gonna pick the easy field here because I know course play is gonna be able to handle this. So if we come in here and select course play, uh, target position doesn't really matter, but we're gonna pick it right over here. Field position, I'm also going to set right here. Course generator, we've got one tool. We're gonna do four headland passes with this thing. And we're gonna start working on the uh, center rows. I'm not overly picky about direction. Again, we're not doing row crop or anything like that. So we're going to let course play just do its thing. And we are going to do skip rows because why not? We've got a pretty nice looking course here. I do wish the start point was here, not the stop point. I feel like in uh, previous versions of course play, there was a option to flip like where the start and stop was, but uh, that's all right. We're gonna just let it go. It's tillage, so it doesn't matter if we drive up there to get started. We will end up back here next to the field. And quite honestly, I can just hit play here and this tractor is gonna drive up to that start point anyway. Now, a couple changes you might notice. We have removed the third uh, tire here from the versatile. That was so we could get the tractor through the refill point with the lime spreader on it. I had a uh, course play course and an auto drive refill point uh, course so that we could automatically just have this versatile going and uh, refilling that lime spreader as we went around and uh, did these fields. I'm a little bit sad about that. I kind of liked how it looked with three tires on there. We could probably put them back on now, but uh, I didn't think of it and I don't really want to shut everything down to do it at this point. So we're going to let him go today with just the duels on and we're going to hope that the skip row is going to work out here for us. I figure with the big tillage tool here, skipping a row means he won't be having to back up. It looks like I was right. So this is uh, looking good. Yeah, it looks good. Our pH values are in the perfect setting. So everything is, yeah, looks like we're doing good. Hopping over here to uh, another field. The other thing we did in the live stream is we picked up a contract on what I believe is the largest field on the map here, field six. If I bring up the map here, you can see field six is this large area here. And we've already harvested this section up at the top. We're currently having course play take this crazy middle section. And then we're going to have to figure out how we get down here. It looks like there's a road way over here to this bottom section to actually finish out the contract. Uh, but we've been going to town down here on harvesting this canola. 
unfortunately we've discovered you can't swath on a uh, contract because uh, swathing thinks it's mowing and you don't have the permission to mow on a uh, contract field. There's probably a mod that might let us do something like that. I wonder if the mod uh, that lets you bale straw on a contract field would also allow you to swath. I don't know. That's something we'll download and try on uh, a future date. But uh, for today, we decided to just go grab the combine with the uh, normal header on it instead of swapping and knock this field out. This is gonna give us a bit of money and probably a little extra crop left over that we can also sell. And the intent of that additional income here in the fall for us is so that we can hopefully acquire more land before spring. I would love to get another field on the farm uh, that would allow us to plant peas, lentils, and I'd really like to get some canola of my own in that we could actually swap uh, because that would be a very common uh, crop that you would see in this part of the world. So we're going to go ahead and fire up the tractor here with the grain cart on it and run over here to try and empty the combine on its way down the row here. We've got, uh oh, uh, not quite full, two-thirds full uh, grain cart right now. So getting the rest of this grain cart topped off and running that back up to the semi is a good use of our time. We're going to be bouncing for back and forth a little bit between, um, I think, keeping this uh, combine running and checking in on our tillage today. Now, I can't quite see the auger there, so I am going to have to jump out of cab. I need to install that uh, first-person mod that lets you lean when you're inside the cab a little bit so that I could lean over to look out the window a little better. But it looks like we're going to get topped off here, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that'll be good. We're at 100% in the grain cart. Let's see if I can sneak out here in front of the combine without causing too many issues. Not put the auger through the tree there that'd be bad i have to say i've been just loving running around in this tractor in cab the sounds are uh spot on i love it whoa we also talked on the uh live stream about uh how i could fix the output from this auger so it's not curved so poorly uh, it has a more natural curve animation. That would be nice to have it uh, kind of come straight out of the auger, maybe fall straight down rather than uh, bend like a banana here. So that's something that I haven't yet had an opportunity to look into, but hopefully we'll get that sorted out here soon because I'd really love to keep using this uh, green cart. But uh, if I can't figure out how to get that all sorted out in the next little bit here, We'll probably swap this grain cart out for something else before next harvest. There's a lot of great options out there. And uh, we're just going to kind of keep tweaking our mods on this server, I think. I'm going to run back out here and see if we can catch the combine again. I don't think I quite got it emptied out on our previous pass since we did fill up the grain cart. And then uh, after we get it emptied out here, we'll go check up on our tillage again. I'm just kind of curious to make sure that the tillage tractor keeps moving. We've got a lot of tillage to get done. I'm not sure why the uh, 9610 is slowing down quite so much. Three miles an hour seems a little slow. Now it's going five. Maybe there's a bit of a hill there or something that it was getting caught on. I'm not really sure. It's not going to stop and wait. Oh, no, it's empty. Okay. It's like usually it stops at the end of the headland to finish on filling if it's got something in there. But not today, folks. So I'm going to park this right here, I think. It looks like the combine's got a few little spots back there to finish up. And then it'll move on into this other section of the field on the other side of the irrigation ditch here. So if we jump back over here, oh man, it looks like our tillage is already uh, coming back on the skipped rows in the short rows here. We probably didn't need 
to do four headland passes. I was just nervous with how um, how narrow tillage equipment tends to be. I think when we do the next field or do this the next time, we would probably get away with only three. I think two would still be risking the fence, but we'd probably do three. And that would give us a little bit longer rows and a little bit less, uh, well, not less turning around, but uh, a little bit more length on these uh, up and down rows. So it looks like we are on what is probably the final round here on this field. It's gone a lot quicker than I was expecting. We've got about 15, 16 minutes left on the uh, course because we do have to go around and do the headlands. But uh, I have to say, this Landall is doing an awesome job. It's just knocking out the uh, tillage here rather quickly. We're managing to do a pretty steady eight miles an hour right now. I feel like we were going just a smidge faster earlier. Yeah, this thing's capable of doing 11 uh, with uh, 300 horse. I think we're sitting at 320 horse right now, uh, or 325 maybe. Well, 375, that would make sense. We're a three, the 375 model number. So we've got a little bit of horse to spare, but for whatever reason, uh, it feels like this thing just can't quite get up to speed. Uh, at times. I know I've seen it hitting up into the uh, 10 miles an hour or so. Uh, I'm wondering if it's just partially the gear shifting or what, but uh, we seem to be capping out at about 8 miles an hour. That's alright, that's still booking it with a big piece of tillage equipment like this, so I'm not complaining too much. We're gonna be knocking this out and getting over into the other field in no time. However, we should probably go and empty out our combine here. We've been away for a little bit, and it does look like we've moved into the back section of this field. I think that this is where we'll be for the rest of uh, the course here. If I just look at this, yeah, I think we're gonna just be going back and forth, although it does look like we've got sections on either side of the uh, trees in the middle here. That'll probably slow us down. The less uh, turning around we have to do, the more crops we can cover. But this field, there's just not a lot of options. I have to say, I can't wait until this map comes out officially and we're able to do some multiplayer on it. I think this would be a lot of fun to get a couple of combines out in some of these fields and actually have uh, players driving with the grain carts and the combines and so on and so forth. I do think that we will have a blast on this, even though it's a standard size map, uh, especially if you're playing with friends on the same farm, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now I've caught the combine, I wanted to unload him, but he's going to be cutting through on this new section, so. No matter which way he comes back, his auger should be on a side that I can empty him. So we're going to just follow the combine through as he cuts uh, cuts through this field. Oh, uh, looks like he might be cutting out the island piece. Interesting. I think we're doing a second headland pass around this island. So I'm going to park right here. I should be out of the way. We'll jump into the combine and uh, follow along trying to figure out where we're going to go after we finish up the uh, two headland passes around this island. I'm actually not quite sure where this course is leading us. We're only half full though, so I guess we're not in a huge hurry to get the combine emptied out just yet, but I do want to make sure we can keep it moving and I want to go check on our tillage tool again, so I'm like in this awkward middle state as we wait for this guy to get on track. All right, so it looks like we've come back out here and we're gonna start doing lands mode between, it looks like these little short rows and probably the longer rows over there. Very nice. I'm uh, not sure where the other end of this is gonna be, but we'll follow along and see how it goes. Or maybe we didn't actually set up lands mode on this particular course now that I'm thinking about it. I think we left it on kind of a normal combine pattern because Canola doesn't have that much of volume. And so he's just going to go back and forth there until he 
get to the next section, that's all right. We will go ahead and grab the grain cart. I just want to empty the combine out here real quick so that we can step away for a while and not be worried about him getting full and hung up. This is going to take probably another hour to wrap up this field. And so I really like the combine to just keep doing its thing. Not going to get him completely empty before we get to the end with these short rows like this, though. That's all right. We'll just stop here and unload. It unloads pretty quick. This 9610 has got a decent unload speed on it. I just wish the auger came out uh, faster, unfolded a little bit faster. I suppose I could go in and modify it, but I always hate making tweaks to uh, official mods just because then when there is an update from the mod author you have to remember what you changed and it's just a giant hassle so I generally like to use equipment as it comes whenever I can and I'm gonna park this grain cart here we're not quite full about two-thirds full we'll leave it out so that I can unload again when the time comes and we're just gonna zip back over here to our farm and check in on this tillage. Looks like the versatile is just starting its third headland pass. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the third headland pass that we're getting started on. So there's only this one and one other one left. I love that you can see the mulching part right up in front. So you've got a kind of two different ground textures happening there. It lets you know what's going on. Very nice. And yeah, this guy's got a little over six minutes left to wrap up this uh, this field. Checking back in on our combine here. He's uh, still going at it. However, we're getting to a point where we're really knocking this field out. We've got 75% of the field worked and we've already delivered about half of the grain. If we just take a quick look at the map here, you can see all these purple is the sections that we've already harvested. And so if we're already past 75% here, uh, and we've got these giant sections left in this field, we're gonna get a good chunk of the grain off of this last part that we're gonna be able to hold on to ourselves, which will be nice. We'll, uh, we'll make a healthy profit, I think, off of the rest of this field and putting that in our bins and hanging on to it until canola's at a better price to be sold. If we just pop open the commodity prices, you can see much like our other crops, uh, December, January time is gonna be the best time. Uh, to be selling canola. So we'll probably end up putting any extra we get in the bins and hanging on to it for a little bit alongside our flax. Because I think the flax that we've got in the bins is also a January, February sell frame. So we'll be out running the trucks in the winter here, getting our grain up to market. That's going to be a, a lot of fun. Uh, we are running on, I think, four-day seasons right now. I've got the time slowed way down from the live stream still. We're going to bump that up a little bit. I think part of my goal with four-day seasons is to make sure that we can experience some of the weather as we play through here. And then also, uh, moving forward, I'm going to do a better job of making sure that each episode happens on a uh, new day. I want to uh, force myself to skip the days forward as we continue to play through. Right now we've got uh, leased equipment from the lime spreader. I still need to figure out if we're going to hang on to that for a, another few days and try to lime whatever new field we end up buying. Or if I'm going to just return it and we'll worry about uh, leasing it again and liming in the future. Um, I want to finish this contract, get a little bit more money in our pocket, and then take a look at the land market and see what land is available. So maybe we'll be starting off our next episode with uh, purchasing some land. I think that would be a great exercise for us uh, next time. Over this time, let's go see. We've got... The tillage guy is almost done on the last pass here. Excited that this didn't take nearly as long as I thought it was going to take. The tractor has uh, performed admirably. We haven't had a lot of wonkiness with the articulated tractor. A lot of times I find articulated tractors and 
uh, hired helpers are two things that don't play very nice together. But in this case, it's working great here for the tillage, especially because we've never had to turn around. I'm just going to go ahead and stop this course. No need to have it uh, figure out how to make that last 10 feet. And I'm going to blow away the course. It wasn't a course worth saving. And let's run right over here and get this guy started on our second field, the more complicated field. The course on this is probably going to take a minute to create. And if we just pop open the course play menu, I need to figure out if there's a way to do this a uh, bit from inside the normal window or if we have to come into this screen every time. Now, uh, I need to click around with this field position a bit to see if I can find a spot. See, if I click up here, we don't include field 51. If I click down here, it gets field 51 included. So we've got to be a little bit picky with where we put our target position. That's all right. It's a tillage course. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm curious if I put it up here anywhere, if we get field 51. Eh. I'm gonna put it up here and see if we can exit near the road at least. We'll see what happens if I do it this way. If I remember right last time we set this course up, our exit point was by there rather than our starting point. And as always with these uh, curvy fields, Course play is going to take a moment to generate a course. And there we go. We've got a course generated. It does look like it cut me down to just two headland passes, though. I suspect that's just because of the amount of space in some of these areas. I'm not sure why course play overrides you occasionally. But the stop point is over here where our marker is as expected. And that actually put our starting point a lot closer as a result. So well, that was also part of the plan. And so I'm just going to tell this guy to go start at the first waypoint and let him figure it out. Meanwhile, I think our combine is getting a little bit full here. So we're going to hop in the grain cart and see if I can race and catch up with him before he gets to the end row here. This is not the speediest tractor for sure, but I think we'll be able to get to him before he gets to the end. You can see the pile starting to get a little tall on one side of the hopper there. Come on, Auger, you can do it. There we go. It's just nice to avoid having him come to a stop. Although, He's going to come to a stop here anyway, I suppose. Oh, we can't stop. We're not even going to be able to completely empty him, I don't think, with uh, how full that hopper was. That's all right. That gives us enough in the grain cart to go dump into the semi again. And we should be able to make it back before the combine gets full. Always busy here on Kedrick Farms, running back and forth trying to keep multiple uh, pieces of equipment, multiple jobs running at the same time is, I think for me, when I'm having the most fun in farm sim, uh, I like to bounce around a lot. It uh, It's more interesting when you've got a lot going on on the farm. I'm actually hoping that I will be able to fill this front hopper uh, with this load, mostly just out of the uh, joy of feeling accomplished when you get a hopper of something filled up. There we go. And we've got 140 bushels to put into the back hopper too. Nice. With that all emptied out, we're going to run right back down here. I'm going to see if we can get that combine emptied one more time. I'm uh, not thinking he's getting close to full again per se, but there was a lot of grain still in that hopper. I think we can just catch him before he gets to the end of the field. I don't know if the auger will be out in time to start unloading by then, but we'll be in position. Oh, he's not going to stop. Oh, well, we'll follow him and unload once he figures out where he's going. I'm pretty sure 
We'll just head over here to the section on the other side of the island. But that means that we'll probably need to follow him back down from the other end here. We're going to park by the island here and see where he goes. We'll switch over here and check on our tillage first. Oh no! We didn't do a, a good course for this. I forgot to do skip rows, apparently. Or did we? Or is that just some part of the beginning that was getting a little bit weird? That was just the beginning part getting a little weird. We're doing skip rows now, but because we only have two headland passes, he's having to do some wonky backing up. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping to get that third headland pass in and not have to back up while we're uh, doing these skip rows. I don't know if that there's a lot we can do about that though with the shape of this field, so we're gonna just let it go and hope that it's not gonna be too big of a deal. It does look like this course is gonna take a bit over an hour to complete though. So I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let this guy do his thing. And while he does his thing, we are going to go ahead and just get this combine unloaded. We're getting real close, I think, to being able to complete this contract. But I won't complete the contract until we've harvested all of the other section of the field here. I want the maximum profits off of this job. It's been a, quite a job. I mean, we. We're harvesting on this field for over an hour in the live stream. We've been going for over an hour in this video on uh, on this field, and we've still got a little bit left. Looks like we have emptied the combine. Good deal. We're gonna just leave the uh, grain cart over here by the island. I know it'll be out of the way over here. At least I'm reasonably certain it'll be out of the way over here. We hop into the combine. Yep, we just got some real short rows to do here hardly uh hardly anything left and then we'll jump over and take the last part of this field however i think we're gonna save that for next episode where we will be wrapping up this contract wrapping up our tillage and hopefully investing in some new property for the farm if you've enjoyed today's episode drop a like it helps me out immensely that's all for today Kedrick, out